Um, I, today I shared an open letter with my brother Kevin. He was such a godsend to me last year. I mean, the advice he gave me is still in my head, guys. So every moment I'm thinking, okay, what would Kevin have me to do here? Like he gave me some advice that says, be on chill, like not take anything too seriously. Be on chill for life. And that God will level out the mountains for me. I don't have to stress myself and worry how things are going to work out, that I should just trust God and He will level out the situations for me. He will fight my battles. Don't try to be God. Be God's angel. Then that lesson of patience. He said, I got to be patient right now. And that patience is working, guys. I'm being patient with everybody in my life now. He said, don't force anybody to do anything they don't want to do. Just surrender everyone over to God, guys. And marriage is like a team. He said, when one spouse is weak, the other one has to be strong and vice versa. He said, the good, the bad are all a part of God's divine plan. He even used an example of the ants gathering crumbs on the floor to take to their nests for their babies. He said, how is that possible in this world of big, supersized jets? You know, it's mind blowing. Say so you are your own. You are your own worst enemy. He told that to me one day, and it's true. Because I allow my thoughts to get the best of me. He said, "Don't call me ever again to complain, Nick. Say only contact me to tell me what a gorgeous life you have." And like he just opened my eyes. I have this wonderful, fabulous life with God. You know, like 99% gorgeous, 3% yuck. But guess what he taught me? Focus on that 97% gorgeous and live my best life with God. Nobody has a perfect life. And then he told me he wants me to work on being wise. This morning he said, Nick, women are too emotional. You guys have to be wiser, you know, and stop letting your emotions take control of you. Seriously guilty of that too. So every situation now, guys, I just want to have conversations with God. I want my conversations to be in heaven with God direct, asking him moment by moment, God, what is it you would have me to do? And sometimes he just tell me, Nick, you got to be on the high road here. Nick, you got to ignore it. You know, Nick, just be your most loving self. Nick, be my angel. And I'm with him, you know, because when you listen to God, I promise you, he will guide your life on the best path. And the last one, he told me to shine brightly. Let people look at you and say, where did this woman get all this strength from? So today I told him I'm up in my game. I'm going to shine brighter. I have to reach more people for God. Yes, on Sunday, a lady I met, he said, everything that you do, your blog and blogs, that's a seed. God even took it a, a bit further with me today in my appointment with him. He said, let your whole life be a seed. Like everywhere I go, I want to reflect him and I want you guys to know that you don't go wrong with God. Like he has the best plans for our lives. So we have to listen to him and let him guide us, be the guide of our lives. Even last night, that business I'm trying to get back on track, I can't believe it. They even call me while I'm sleeping. They say, you want to sell a car? So I just say, God will bless us while we sleep, guys. Don't mess around with your appointment with God. Take your relationship with God serious. Make him a priority. Start seeking him. I want you to have conversations in heaven too. Are we going to be these freaking badass wives, mothers, spouses, husbands, dads, people? Everything we're going to do. All for Papa God's glory.